Good, you have a nice level. But, uh, but, a nice but, but I think what needs to be uh, shown, <laughs> oh, oh, <good. laughs> he did it to see my, to match my hair. Today. Yes. Absolutely, you must ask. There's no, there's no, no accident at all. He's got my wife's earrings. <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, we've, we've had a few divorces along the way. <laughs> yes, but, uh, at least he was here for the for the good one, and uh, obviously he, he, he rode an absolute pillar. Thank and you, Mr. Sean. Sean, Sean you, you said you had the horse in, in Joburg until when? Yes, uh, 48 hours before it now arrived uh, yesterday morning. Right. Why did you keep him there and hide him away from all of us? Uh, well, it obviously worked. <laughs> <laughs> I know it worked. It's irritating. No, he's comfortable on the poly track in Joburg. He works a lot on the treadmill. And to come and start flirting with danger yeah, just made no sense. Yeah, the horse has done really well on the half felt. And, um, you know, training at altitude certainly not going to count against you either. So, uh, yeah, were, it was just never part of the plan to bring him down. We always planned to ride from Joburg. How hard was that be fun? Three horses here and one in Joburg. Did you find that? No, we, I've got a good communication with my staff, and I've, I had a program mapped out, and uh, you know everything fell into place. Obviously, being assessed regularly by my team and by uh, our local vet, uh, veterinary surgeon, Kobe Tadmore. You know, every other day the vet would just make sure that everything was on track. Not not, not that he needed to check up, but just to as a second opinion. And um, yeah, Debbie, who's head of the team up there with the older horses. Uh, did a wonderful job in um, in preparing this horse, and um, Debbie, Andre, Stuart, Nicholas. It's a big team in Joburg, and and, and they can hold their heads high. They've, they've done a marvelous job, and I think it just shows that bigger stable when you've got the infrastructure in place, and uh, you, you've got the wheel in motion. The guys know what to do. They know the job. Um, they work with you closely throughout the year and it's very easy for them to take over the reins. Did you go up for the final or anything like that? Or? No, I saw it on, uh, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I was very happy with it. I heard some among us comments. Yes. I didn't need to phone and check with him because uh, I, I, I got the, uh, the graph of YouTube but he did let me know as well. Yes. He was very, very happy with the gallop. And um, yeah, it's, it's just it's just wonderful that it's, it's been pulled off. We nearly, we nearly sold a part of this horse and uh, the deal never really got finalized and I'm, I'm happy that Chris uh, had him on his own today. One of your best failures. <laughs> yeah, I'll just ask the owner if that's all right. Obviously you have yep. that lovely big horse, Pomodoro, trying to win it two years in a row. Where, where was your attention during the race? Uh, I mean, it was watching? first with Pomodoro, absolutely. I was watching him carefully and then, then I realized that about, I guess, 500, 400 ain't going to happen and then I shifted my attention to the youngster here. <laughs> with a red cap. <laughs> I will remind you that last year Pomodoro wore a red, red cap when he won. Yes, mm -hmm. Red cap twice. Which one did you find before the race? race? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously Pomodoro. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to win it twice in a row, it's, back uh, to back? You know, it's, you know, it's remarkable. It, 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 it actually started crying through my own uh, embarrassment. It was so special. I mean, on a day we were thinking of Madiba and, you know, being gravely ill. And, this young Zulu man here. It's remarkable. It's a special day. It's, it's, it's like um, a few stories have come together on the same day. So I'm overwhelmed. I, I don't deserve this kind of nonsense. So I'm going to enjoy it. For sure. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm humbled by that. But we knew good horse. And, and, and that, uh, I can tell you something about Silvano. Somebody said the other day, he's a up and coming stallion. Gonna, make an impression on our on our breeding and there's no doubt he's he's shown it already. Back to you. What's next? You've now won this twice. Are we heading overseas? Listen, we, we, we've got him on the short list. Um, yeah, we might take one or two out. You know, we just have to sit down and work things out and um, uh, you know he may he may go, he, he may not. It's not it's not cast in stone. Um, and now you always got to be mindful of the fact that uh, you know what Mark the Cock endures year in and year out is is really really tough, and he has the infrastructure, and um, a lot of good horses are leaving along the way. So you shouldn't really turn turn your back on what's on offer here, um, because there are obviously races to be won here. But you know Chris would really like to have another go overseas. We had a go with National Colour and Illegal Flight, and um, this is a horse that could possibly um, go overseas. Unfortunately. Is we'd be tailor-made for Hong Kong and there's no ways we're going to get out in time and get there in time but it's just 
a tragedy really for South African horses that this would be a horse tailor made for, for Hong Kong, that special day that they have in, uh, in December and the chances of it coming off um, next well, to nothing. If the Singapore flight leaves at the end of August, who knows? Well, there's a lot of ifs, there's but you know, ifs. I have to work on the facts mm. and uh, <laughs> pie in the sky is not going to help us yeah. at this stage. But as soon as there's a concrete decision, I, I, I'm sure we'd welcome it with open arms. So we and head for July next year and another, a third, just to run. Well, off. you know what, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of big races going on and, uh, you know, we haven't got the strongest bunch of three-year-olds. We've got obviously the hangman who was ill-fated. And, you know, to have, uh, I love working with all the horses that, 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 that have got talent. They seem to get better as they get older. So really, there's no concrete decision right now. And look out of the drawing board, sit down with Chris.